record this. Okay. So this is a little bit different from what we've seen before. Uh, this is about uh, possible, so it is about conditions on coloring of subgraphs. And uh, there are different, different topics and we have, we can ask different questions, but I start with a basic simple, uh, simple problem. And then I'll see if, if we have much time, if we have uh, uh, much time left, I can explain some possible generations of this concept. So we start with uh, famous, famous classic result. So suppose we have, uh, suppose we have a party of uh, six people. Is it true that there are uh, three people who know each other or or three people that do not know do not um, know each other so do not know it means that every pair of the three people doesn't know each other um, do you ever heard of this problem no sir yeah so we start with that and uh, also so we need to think about uh, is this um, important that there are six people so for example if we change this number like we're making we're taking five people or seven people it is it true is it also true or maybe not and we want to find like minimal no possible number of the people so uh, we have so how many members can be in this party such that uh, we can be sure that there are either uh, three people who know each other or three people that do not do not know each other So I, I can like give you two or three minutes to think about it and then we will discuss it. Like I we can wait for to maybe your uh, solution. So thoughts about this task. Of course, we can uh, look at this so we can formulate the problem as graph theory. So like we have six people, this will be our vertices. And then uh, we can, uh, consider that we uh, we can uh, we can formulate this in different kinds. For example, we have uh, so either we have a complete graph of six vertices, and they are just we color them like uh, put orange if people know each other, and green if they are not knowing each other. Doesn't know each other. Or we can just look. We can look at the gra graph on the six vertices, and then we just put an edge between two vertices if they know each other. It is the same picture, but um, so we can just consider two coloring of edges, or just looking at. Uh, we just uh, link link the vertices that are know each other, and then and if there are no link between the vertices, it means that they do not know each other. So we can look at the graph and uh, opposite graph. I know how to. So it's a different term, different notation for this uh, additional graph. So we can take that take additional edges. 
the edges that don't belong to a graph. But otherwise, so all, all we can do it find the find the monochromatic triangle. So we can uh, look take the complete graph of six vertices, consider two coloring of this graph, and you want to be sure that in each in each two coloring of edges two edge uh, two coloring of edges of our graph, there will be uh, at least or either either orange triangle or green triangle, for example. Is it true or not? It's true, sir. Okay, how, how can you prove it? Sir, I can prove it using graph theory, but I just use normal. Yeah, yeah, it's okay, it's okay. So how do you prove it? Yeah, so suppose there are two friends, a pair of two friends who know each other. So there are yes. two, friends, two friends and two friends. So there are okay. six people. And then if one of them is ho hosting a party, uh, so this guy is supposed to know at least one of the people from the other pair to invite them. Okay. So he knows he knows the other person. Okay. Yeah. So the three he so three people know each other. Yeah, but uh, so uh, suppose that there are no host of the party. So the, if 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 it is a host, so if somebody know all all other members, then. It is, no. be, he doesn't have to know all other members. He just has to know two members, and the other two members can know other guys. Okay, okay. So uh, but, what, but what, you say, what you say is like if we have like this picture. So if one person know three other persons, no, 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 no. There are pairs of uh, two, two, two white people, two, just pairs of two, sir. Like yeah. this, yeah, and then one more, and then one more, and then yeah. one more. One more edge. Yeah. Between this, between these guys, like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. So, uh, so what? So there are three people who know each other now, right? Because there's there's an edge. No, we need we need to be full triangle. So we need that. So three people who know each other means that. There is the all all three all three edges oh, oh. must be orange. Okay, okay. okay so, okay. for example, sure. in this picture, for example, I can write uh, this uh, two coloring of edges, mm -hmm. and here are no triangles. So, for example, if I change six, so I, if I put four instead of the six, that it will be not true because I can uh, show you an example where there are no triangles here. Mm -hmm. Okay, sir. So, so the graph you drew is it random? or yeah yeah random so we just uh, we want to be sure that for any coloring for any coloring uh, of edges in two colors there will be a there will be one triangle either green or orange so uh, if you want a hint then you can look at this picture if we have uh, this picture, when one people know each other, one people doesn't know doesn't know three other people. So either this one or this one. Then we should we should have a triangle here. Because, for example, look at this picture. Uh, we have. If we enumerate them, so for example, this is the first one, second, three, and four. If we look at two, three, and four, then each of the edges between them must be orange or green. So there are two possible 
variations. Either one of this edge is orange, for example, this one. And then we have a triangle here. And the only possible other variation is that they are all green. And if they are all green, then we have a triangle here. Okay? So, uh, on the other way, if we have like this situation in green, the same holds here. So if we have like this edge green, then we have this triangle. If this is edge green, then we have this triangle. If the, is this edge green, then we have green triangle. So if we have, if the, uh, but if they are all orange, then we have triangle, orange triangle. Okay? Uh, so we, all we need to prove is that at least one uh, vertex has three edges of the same color. But if we fixed, but so do we can prove it? So if you like consider six uh, six vertices and we have like we have our arbitrary uh, uh, two coloring of edges, then we have three edges coming from one vertex of the same color. Is it true? So could you repeat that? And... Yeah. So I just, I, I just, so here I prove that if we have, uh, if, uh, if we have three orange edges coming out from one vertex, or we, if we have three green edges coming from Vertex from one of the vertex, then we have a triangle. Because if we have three uh, vertex of the same color, the uh, edges of the same color coming from uh, some of the uh, vertices, then either uh, one of these edges are the same color and we have like orange triangle, or they're all of the other color, and then we have triangle, like green triangle here. So all we need to do is find a vertex that has three orange or three green edges coming out. Is, is, uh, is there exist such vertex in our graph? So can we find a vertex that have either three orange or three green uh, edges coming out, out of this vertex? So if we have like here, if we have this picture, then if we have, so, if we have orange, either we have orange triangle here, if one of these edges are orange, or we have green triangle here, if they are not orange. So, do you understand this idea, what I have here, or no? Uh, sir, actually, I don't, I don't understand the whole problem. The whole problem? Yeah, I, yeah. I don't understand. 
or trying to do? Okay, consider a complete graph on the six vertices. And all edges are colored in the orange or green colors. Do we have a triangle, okay. monochromatic triangle here? For example, a picture that I wrote up here, we have like monochromatic triangle of the orange, or we have like monochromatic triangle here, oh, maybe here, for example. But is it true that uh, for every coloring into uh, coloring of edges in orange and green, we all, we all uh, always, there always will be a monochromatic triangle. We want to prove that for each coloring, we can find the monochromatic triangle. Okay? Okay, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So, I, here I consider some just partial case. So if one vertex has three edges of the same color coming out of this vertex, then we have a monochromatic triangle. Why is that? Because, for, for example, if we have three orange edges coming from one to two, three, and four, then either one of this one of the edges of two, three, three, four, or two, four are orange, then we have monochromatic triangle, monochromatic on the orange triangle. But if they're all green, then we have monochromatic green triangle. So all we need to do is find the vertex that have at least three edges of the same color coming out of this vertex. Uh, and I ask, is it true for this graph or not? So is it true that uh, all there always be vertex where that have three edges of the same color coming out of this vertex. So, for example, here we have like this vertex has four orange edges coming out of this vertex, and so we have like monochromatic triangle here or monochromatic green triangle here. Or do, do you understand what I'm saying or not? Yes, yes sir, I understand. Okay. So uh, we from 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 each vertex there are five edges coming out. Is it true that at least three of these edges are the same of the same color? Uh yes, yes sir, it's true. Yes, of course, by physical principle. Me. Yeah. Yeah. Because. Yeah. So for we, we just so the solution is uh, is the following. We just took uh, arbitrary vertex, look at all the edges that are coming out. At least the edges will be the, of the same color, and then we can find then we can find a monochromatic triangle here. Okay. Yes, sir. How do you prove that? How do you prove that at least three of them will be of the same color? Yeah, because we have so. Uh, our, so we look at the complete graph. So each vertex has degree exactly five. So we have five edges coming out of this vertex. And if we uh, color them, in, so if we color the edges on uh, orange and green, then at least three will be of the same color. Because if, 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 we, if we suppose the opposite, so if, if the not three, three edges of the same color, then will be, at least two orange, at, at, at most two orange and at most two green edges. And the total will be at least at most two uh, edges coming out. But degree of the vertex is equal to five. So at least three must be at the same color. Okay? Yeah, understood, sir. Okay. Uh, of course, if we if we take like seven, eight or more vertices in our graph. So we consider a uh, complete graph like on the 10 vertices and we consider uh, and we colored edges into colors. Then of course we have a monochromatic triangle there because uh, if we have monochromatic into the K6, then of course we can find the monochromatic triangle in K10 because we can just 
take uh, arbitrary six uh, vertices, and we have monochromatic in this in the six vertices. But uh, the main question is: if is the six is minimal, is minimal possible number? So uh, if we take five vertices, five vertices, can we construct an example? Where we don't have a monochromatic preamble, or uh, the same holds for the five vertices, and we can find uh, also also in each two coloring of edges, we can five we can find a monochromatic preamble here. So is can we always Find a monochromatic triangle in two ed two coloring of edges in arbitrary two coloring of edges. Um, no, sir. Uh, can you give an example? Uh, yes. So, uh, I can number the vertex. Yeah. Yeah. So let's assume two nodes one and two nodes three, and one nodes four, and three nodes five and uh, four nodes five. Yeah, okay, so we can just write uh, like this cycle. We can just, I, I change the four or five. <laughs> okay, sir. And uh, we can. Then we can just use the remaining edges. As... Yeah, yeah. Of course, so we can, we can just build an example where we have no friends. Okay, so six is the minimal number. Okay. Uh, so definition of Ramsey numbers R of n n Ramsey number is minimal possible number R such that in each two coloring of edges of complete graph KR, we have either monochromatic KM Subgraph uh, in the first color, so I can assume that to color in, uh, for example, orange and green. So first will be orange and second will be green. Uh, monochromatic orange KM subgraph or monochromatic green KM sub graph so we fixed m and n and then trying to so we take uh we start with the for example we can start with the maximum of this number and then we add vertex vertices and look at all possible two coloring of edges in uh, uh, of in orange and green colors, and then we we try to find an orange and a full uh, complete 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 graph uh, monochromatic graph on, on the n vertices and monochromatic graph uh, monochromatic green uh, subgraph on n vertices. So we want to find uh, n vertices that all the edges are green, or we can find we can try to find n vertices that all of edges are green. And so the idea is that if we took 
many, 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 many big number of the vertices, then uh, in each column we can find either monochromatic orange KM subgraph or monochromatic uh, green KN subgraph. So we just prove, uh, we just prove that R33 is equal to six. And to prove this, we need doing two things. First of all, we need to prove that we have a counterexample on the five vertices, so six is exactly minimal. And second, we need to prove that uh, if we consider two coloring of the complete graph K6, then we have either uh, orange triangle or green triangle. So we prove two things. First of all, that R33 is greater than five. And second is that is not uh, greater than five, sorry. And of course, if it's, if it holds for a number, for a number R, then it holds for the number greater than R. Because if we like uh, prove that in each 10 verses we can find like a uh, full K4 subgraph, uh, K4 orange subgraph or uh, green triangle, then for, for each greater number of the vertices, of course, we can just take the subgraph of 10 vertices and, and uh, this also, also, be, also will be holding. Uh, and there are many, many different questions we can, so we, we can uh, just uh, have different generations of the problem because we can just look at uh, two so we can we just fix number of colors as two, but we can just look at what what about if we have more colors, or for example we uh, do not actually uh, ask about full sub uh, complete subgraph here. So we can change K M and K N uh, by the arbitrary uh, graphs here. So for example uh, uh, we can just generate and consider like uh, R of G, G1, G2, it means that either we can find, we can want to find an orange, an orange, a monochromatic orange G1 subgraph. So subgraph is exactly like G1, G1, sorry, G1, or monochromatic green G2 subgraph. Okay, but uh, I, I don't think we can just, so we can return to the question after we complete our discussions with R of MN. So main basic question is, can we find R of MN? For example, oh, uh, and first main question is, is, is this number is finite? So I can just uh, like write a list of questions. So is, is this number exists? So is, it, is, it, is this number is finite? And if it's finite, can we, uh, can we calculate find R of a man? Uh, th the next question, what if we cannot find them, but we maybe can uh, like uh, find some inequality. So what does it look like? So if, if we take like M10, uh, 100, 1000, uh, what, how, how did, how it, Go. So, what is the function? So, for example, if we fix, if we uh, take m equal to n, what is the function of r of n? R of n n. Uh, how uh, how fast it grows? Can we find like? Uh, can we just um, uh, took like some uh, uh, measure it or? So we can bound this by two functions, for example, that we know. Okay, so first of all, we just, first and main theorem will be that it exactly exists and it is finite for every M and N that we can, uh, and we can prove and we just prove some inequality that can find the uh, upper bound of this number. But first of all, let's look at some trivial examples uh, before we start. So uh, 
can you just explain me what what is r of one n and what is r of two n? Can you find it? I just want to be sure that these numbers are finite. I just can try to uh, check that you understand the definition of Ramsey number. Uh, sir, in the definition you wrote of edges of complete graph K what? K R. So, uh, R of MN is the minimal number R such that in each two coloring of complete graph KR, we have either monochromatic orange KM subgraph or monochromatic green KN subgraph. So for example, if you take M and N equal to three, uh, we can ask uh, what is the minimal number uh, of vertices such that in each two coloring of complete graph over these vertices, we have either orange triangle or green triangle, monochromatic orange, no, orange triangle. Oh, okay, sir. Because this will be six because we prove that for, for if we take five vertices that it, it doesn't hold, we can find a graph that doesn't um, have a complete a monochro um, orange triangle, a monochromatic triangle. But if we take six vertices, then in each uh, coloring, two coloring of the edges, we have. Uh, monochromatic triangle. So, so I think R1 comma N is going to be infinite. Why? Uh, because Wait a second. Well, that depends on the definition. What do you mean but by monochromatic uh, K1 subgraph? What is <laughs> so K one is just a vertex, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. And so, which means, as long as we have a vertex, we're going to have K one there. Yeah, of course. So we just and we just prove that so that we can just have any. Yeah. So we just prove that R of one n is equal to one. Because for uh, if you take one vertex, then it will it will it have a monochromatic key one subgraph orange. Because if each each vertex is monochromatic subgraph of one vertex, because we don't have edges, so we can uh, assume that uh, monochromatic subgraph. It means that all all the edges are orange, and so if you have if we need to find a key one subgraph, it means monochromatic key one subgraph, it means that each vertex, we can take each, word, each vertex and it will be okay. Okay, understand? Uh, okay, so, so we can either have, when we say R M comma N, we can either have a K M subgraph, monochromatic K M subgraph or monochromatic K N subgraph. Yeah, so for example, if you, if you, if you uh, consider what is R three four is, then we need to find a number, a number, uh, number like so. For example, we want to prove that it is it is like ten. It means that if we take one, two, three, four, five, six, and ten words, ten vertices, then if we to color them, then either then uh, either we have monochromatic orange triangle or we have uh, monochromatic uh, K4, green K4. So we look for the orange triangles, but green K4. So we can have green triangles, but we, we want to find uh, green uh, K4. Okay, so and as long as we find one of them, we can see that that's the Ramsey number. Uh, no, oh, we need to not, find not both like of that. them. We want to find the minimal number of vertices that for each coloring we can find either monochromatic either orange triangle or green key four so for yes, example sir. If, if you prove for 10 that each coloring holds if you want to prove that ramsey number is r of three four is 10 
we need to give an example of nine vertex, nine, uh, the, the coloring of K, K9, in which we don't have orange triangles or green K4. So we need to prove two things. First of all, for that we, you can give a counterexample of the lesser number of the vertices and also prove that uh, for this number, we can always find a monochromatic uh, K uh, M subgraph or, or monochromatic K N subgraph, so orange K M or green K N subgraph. Uh, so my question is, do we have to find both of them in this graph or just no, one no, of them? No, no, we need to find either one of them. You see this we can. Sir, so why can't we just have a triangle? Sorry? If we have K3, comma 4, we can just have three vertices of a triangle. Yeah, of course, but we need for, for, each, for each coloring, we want to find the triangle. Well, for all possible colorings. For all, for all possible colorings. So we need oh, okay. to prove that for each coloring, we can find an orange triangle. Oh, okay, okay. Or the, or the green K4. Because we can, yeah, yeah, we can set the coloring, but all are just a green. And so they, of course, don't have a, an orange triangle, but of course, they will have a, a green K4. Okay, so can you find R, R of 2N? Okay, sir. I think it's not, so as this question about the definition, I think you, if, you, if you look at the definition, you can, it is not very hard to find what is R2N. Said three. Why? Why three? If we have three vertices, yes. Uh, one of the vertex will contain at least one color, and um, we can just take those two vertices as um, K two. Yeah, but what if all all the all the edges of the different color so here we can like look at this of course of course if we have one orange oh. one orange edge that it is okay but what if all all edges are green So of course, if we have like all edges are green, then we don't have a uh, a finite can, number. Uh, yeah, yeah. But if we need to find green K N subgraph, the um, complete subgraph on inverts, then we we don't have. So we need to have at least how much vertices? N. So let's let's take and then. Let's take n vertices here. If some of each yeah. is orange, then we have uh, k2 subgraph orange. Okay. If they're all green, 
Then we have KN. Then we have KN. And this proof, this proves that R to N is uh, not, not greater than N. But of course we can uh, construct a counterexample of N minus one because we can just take N, N minus one vertices and take all the green edges between them. And so this graph don't have uh, edge, orange edges of complete subgraph on uh, complete complete subgraph on the vertices uh, of the green color. So we have counterexample and this proves that R of two N is equal to N. And we can just, so here we just take N minus one vertices and the con counterexample will be like this, so we just, all edges are green, okay? Okay, sir. Okay, so let's prove the upper upper bound of the R of MN theorem. R of MN is not greater than R of N, N1 plus R of N minus one M. If we prove the theorem, then we can prove that R of MN is finite because we can prove it by induction of the sum of M and N, and we have basis so we can prove that R11 is one, R21 is one, R12 is one, and so for the sum uh, less or equal three, we can prove it. And uh, if we prove that Um, since uh, by induction hypothesis, we can assume that if these two numbers are finite, then R of M N is also finite. Okay. So let's prove it. Uh, all we need to do is just to take this number that, that we have in the right part of our inequality. Oh, sorry. I just need to be dry the, the right numbers. So it's M N minus one plus R of A M minus one N. So we just take this, the uh, R vertices, but R is sum of the R of M N minus one plus R of R of M minus one N. Then we want to prove that if we consider the complete graph KR and consider uh, we color edges into colors, orange and green, we can find either KM subgraph of orange or KN subgraph of N. It means that R of MN is not greater than R. So if we prove for this number that for each two color of edges, we can find orange KM subgraph or green kn subgraph then we can prove that r of mn is not greater than r so we have like this big 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 graph we can so we have many 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 vertices but let's just fix one fix one vertex and look at how many edges uh, are they coming out so if we fix one vertex then we have it, it have full degree will be is uh, like this one. Each vertex has degree equal to uh, R, R minus one. This means 
that if we fix arbitrary vertex and look at how many edges are going out there, then uh, either orange, the number of orange edges uh, from V is greater than RR uh, RM minus one N or green edges from V is greater uh, equal or greater than RM minus one. So this idea is the same idea I give you when we look at the example of the party. So we just want to find, so if you remember, I just proved that either we have three orange edges coming out of the uh, some vertex or three green edges. This is the same idea. Uh, I just look at the whole degree of this vertex and then I prove that I have uh, at least, at least, uh, so I have big amount of orange edges or big amount of green edges. And if one of this inequality holds, then I can prove my theorem. So why is it so? If it is not true, then uh, the first one will be uh, not, not, not greater than R m minus one n plus one. The second one will be not greater than m n minus one plus one. And so the total number of uh, degree will be not greater than m minus one. Oh, sorry, it will be here minus one plus m. So the total degree will be not greater than r of m minus one n plus r of r of m n minus one minus two but this is contradiction because we stated that degree is equal that is uh, one more so degree is equal to r, r of m minus one plus r of m minus one n minus one contradiction uh do you understand this or i need to be more careful about this So I stated that for for uh, no sir. Okay. Uh, I don't really understand it, sir. Uh, oh, okay. So the degree of this vertex that we fixed is equals to the Ramsey number of. And so I, I stated the so I I suppose this is have, have completely graph KR. Does it means that the degree of each vertex is R minus one, as I write here, because we have if we have uh yes. vertices then from each vertex they're coming uh, they are R minus one edges coming out. And yes, sir. Uh, from this I want to be sure that I have so at least one of these two things of orange edges or green edges will be big enough. And uh, I put this in, so I, I just want to prove uh, these inequalities here. So one of these inequality holds. So either we have yes. uh, uh, the big amount of orange edges or either we have big amount of green edges. Because if uh, none, of, none of this inequality holds, then we have degree less than r minus one and this is a contradiction so yes, i just sir. i just i just take as, as big r that i have uh, i can i can be sure that either we have a big amount of orange edges or a big amount of green edges so let's consider these two cases so suppose we have an orange edges from v is equal or greater than r than Ramsey number of m minus one m minus one n. It means that we have so from v uh, coming out 
R of n minus one n edges. Let's look at this vertices. What what does it mean that we have R m minus one n vertices here? It means that for for so for each two uh, coloring of the edges of uh, full, full complete graph on these vertices, for each two coloring, we have either so either we have orange k m minus one subgraph or green k n subgraph and if we have green k n subgraph then we finished because we want to want to be sure so we find a green k n subgraph as we stated before so we, if you if you look at the same number of m and n we want to find either k m subgraph orange or green k n subgraph and so this is what we need But if we have an orange km minus one subgraph here, so we have like m minus one vertices that uh, um, have full have complete km minus one subgraph of orange colors. Then if we add the the vertex v, v to them, then we have full then we have complete km subgraph uh, of orange coloring because v. For, for all for all of these vertices, we have orange edges between them. So in this case, k n minus k n minus one and v will be k m orange subgraph. So we can consider this. This word, this vertices as complete subgraph of orange color. Okay. Again, this is the same idea that I told you when we consider the party problem. Because so if 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 you have uh, like three edges of the of three orange edges, then if one of these edges is orange and we have orange triangle. If they're all green, then we have a green triangle. This is the same idea. If uh, we have a green Kn subgraph here, then it's what we need. But if we have Kn minus one subgraph, then we can add the vertex V, and then we have uh, Km orange subgraph here. Okay? So for the second case is similar, so I can just uh, repeat all this, all the same uh, ideas here. So if the number of green edges from V is uh, equal or greater than R of M A minus one, then we just can take the uh, Vertex V, and then look at this uh, vertices that connected with V by green color, and then we have at least R of M n minus one vertex here. So either we have orange K M subgraph here, and we win because we want to find a, a We want to find uh, an orange KM subgraph. Or all we can find the green full graph or complete graph of the M minus one vertices. And then we can oh sorry, this will be M minus one. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, I really didn't understand the 
part on the left for orange edges from v greater than r m minus one comma n can you repeat that part yeah yeah so um so we have a big amount of edges orange edges coming out from v and if we look at the ending of the edges then there will be at least so we have at least r of m minus one n uh, versus here and we know so if you if you look at this graph we have so from color coloring of our graph we can we can look at the coloring only on this vertices. so we can just look at oh, what coloring we have here on this on this uh, subgraph uh, containing the we can just fix the r of m minus one and uh, vertices here and then look at this subgraph so we just uh, restrict our coloring to these vertices so if this vertex is r of m minus one n it means that for each coloring we have either the green k n subgraph or orange k m minus one subgraph it is by the definition of the uh, ramsey numbers yes sir if we have green green k n subgraph then this is what we need because we need to find either k green k n subgraph or orange k m subgraph so if you find green k n subgraph we already win because we find the KN subgraph that we needed. But if uh, we find the orange K M minus one subgraph, then we add the vertex, the vertex V, but vertex V connected with all the edges by orange color. It means that if we add uh, vertex V to this K M minus one subgraph, then we have full subgraph, complete subgraph of uh, on M vertices. Sorry, I'm just mispronouncing all of this thing fully instead of complete. But, uh, so we have KM orange subgraph here. This is exactly what we seen before uh, when I explained the idea of the of the party members. If we have the uh, so if we have three three orange edges, either one of these edges are orange, and this means that. So I, I look at number like r r of two three and this is equal to three we just proved before. So either I have the edge of orange color, it means that I can add this to so I add this to add this vertex to this two and have orange triangle, or I have green triangle here, and then I have a triangle of green color. This is just the same idea, because either we have a uh, green KN subgraph and we win, or we have KN minus one subgraph, and then we add our words V to this uh, subgraph, and we have an orange subgraph. And the, uh, if the number of green edges is just similar because we just change the colors, and uh, this is the same idea here. Okay, okay, sir. Okay. So it means that we prove the theorem because we just find uh, orange, either orange KM subgraph, or green KM subgraph, and it is good. Um, so what about the upper bounds uh, proposition? We can prove that R of MN is not greater than um, just I just need to be sure that I'm writing the truly number. I think like this one. Uh, maybe I need to just check it. No, just we need to. We can we can use the last number. So we can prove that R of the Ramsey number is not greater than binomial coefficient of m plus n minus 2 over m minus 1. And uh, this is not so much hard to see because we just prove that r of 2n is equal to n and here we'll have m plus, uh, not m, but 
2 plus n minus 2 over 2 minus 1 is exactly n over 1. And choose 1, it's just equal to n. So for uh, m equal to 2, we have equality here. And uh, of course, we have inequality. Equality. So we we need we have the inequality here. And we have equality here because so if you, if you take this m, uh, maybe I need to write it here. Uh, so if we prove by induction, then we put here m minus 1 plus n minus 2 over m minus 1 minus 1 plus, oh, again, I wrote this in wrong way, m plus n minus 1 minus 2 over m minus 1. Uh, this is, will be m minus n, m, m plus n minus 3 over m minus 2 plus m plus n minus 3 choose m minus 1. And you know that we can, by the combinatorial identity, we can write this as m plus n minus 2 over m minus 1. And so we prove that uh, by, again, by induction hypothesis, hypothesis, we can prove that R of M N is not greater than this uh, binomial coefficient. Okay. Do you understand? Maybe they have some questions. I need to be more slower or more clear, clearer. So, so what we did was that we just tested it first for R2, comma N. Yeah. And then you, we just, you ask about the So it actually hypothesis, we mean that uh, suppose it's true, it is true for all Mn such that, oh, maybe I need to put another variables here. For all like K, KL such that K plus L is, uh, less than m plus n. So for if we prove it for r to r to n, then we prove it for like r to one and r one two, and of course we can prove it to uh, we can check it for r r one one. So we prove it for all uh, pairs that which sum is not greater than three. And so we can prove it for so if it calls for this this guy, then it calls for this guy. And so we prove it for uh, for all pairs where sum is equal to n plus n. Uh, we can we can okay, sir. Uh, so we can look at this picture. So you just prove. So if this is m and this is n, and we will prove it for m. Of course, of course. <laughs> Uh, I don't mention it, but of course it is easy to see that uh, R of M N is equal to R of N M. So R of 2 N is equal to R of N2, of course, because it, the definition is symmetrical. Uh, so if we prove uh, this for green dots, 
and we, we know that uh, if, uh, if if it holds for uh, air r of m minus one n and r of m n minus one and holds for r m n, then we just prove it for uh, inequality for this, then for these guys and for these guys and so on. And so we can prove it for arbitrary m and n. Uh, and of course, so from this inequality, we can find the upper bound of Ramsey numbers. But I'm I'm not sure that you know about uh, asymptotic variation of R of uh, combinatorial numbers. So, for example, if we have R of n n, then we just have here two n minus one over n minus one. And we need to use like steering formula here to find that this is just something like four to the n power. But I don't think that you do you know it's anything about asymptotics or steering formula. I'm not quite sure about this. Uh, so I think I just uh, so I, I don't want to if, if uh, we don't have much time to discuss the asymptotic so I think we can just state it here and uh, go to the details I don't know so I, I want uh, I'm not quite sure so is it so is, is this course com continues in this next semester I don't so it, because the problems program changed from the last year so I'm not quite sure what happens in the next semester. Do we have like some course of combinatorics or graphs or something something similar? No. I'm um, just a moment, sir. Let me check. Yeah, because I I don't know maybe it's maybe they change the program and because in the in the spring semester I I read the third part of the course, but. I think that maybe they shorten this course to give like number theory more time. I'm not quite sure. Um, Sir, so they're changing the with number theory? I don't. Uh, all these are just so I, I don't I don't I don't quite sure because uh, we changed with Alexander. So I. Uh, I read the third part of the course combinatorics graph in the previous semester, but then uh, Alexander told me that he, uh, he asked me to read the second part of the course, but he said, uh, I'm not, I'm not quite sure what he said about the third part. I can ask. Yeah, there's a, for the next semester, I only see, I see complex networks and yeah, yeah, I think yes, I yes, yeah. so there's no combinator. Right? Yeah, yeah. I, I you asked Ness if we're gonna have your class yeah, next yeah. semester. Yeah, I think I don't I think, think so, sir. I think that, I think that uh, they changed the program a little bit. I'm not quite sure what they move, but they Alexander says that uh, they won't just like uh, maybe divide combinatorics and graph in some other courses, so they just just maybe uh, rename it or something. But uh, yeah, complex networks. There's, I think complex networks also comes under kind of graph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So, so maybe. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so uh, about the. So I just uh, I'm not I don't have quite much time. So I just uh, we just discuss what happens in we have like more colors, and then I give you like maybe some like. Uh, oh, maybe I need. Uh, okay, so we have like one example, one theorem. Oh, I don't know how much. But I want to show that we have a low bar, lower bound for this uh, number is uh, equivalent to the like two to the nth power. So the asymptotics is exponential, but uh, the borders is. Uh, so we have. Uh, many functions between these borders, so <clears throat> we don't we don't have like one constant here. So it is just um, one of the 
uh, main approach is how to find the more appropriate constants. So maybe we can find like, uh, that, so the base of the ex exponent, we can find like similar to each other because two and four are just similar, but maybe we, uh, I don't know if there are any more concrete uh, asymptotics to the R of an N. So it just grows very fast. And uh, it is easily to understand because if you if you look, for example, if you want to prove that, for example, uh, that uh, R of five five is, for example, thirty, then you can you can you just need to look at all the colorings of the graph, complete graph on the thirty vertices, and this is two to the thirty thirty power, and two to the so, so for example, if you want to prove that this is not greater than thirty, then you just need to um, consider two to the uh, 30 power some uh, colorings of this graph, uh, but not, not uh, yeah, but not only, so if you, if you look at the colorings, then uh, uh, maybe I miscalculate. So if you want to prove that R of five five is not greater than 30, then you need to look at the all colorings. All colorings, so we have the number of edges is like uh, 30 choose two, and we need to look at all the colorings. It means that we need to consider this number of graphs and this enormous number and computer cannot hold it. And we cannot, so of course, of course, uh, some of these uh, colorings are easy, are easy to check, but uh, never more, it's, it's like enormous numbers. So, so uh, right now, we just now uh, like uh, five or four actual Ramsey numbers, so we know R of three four, R of three five, R of four four, R of four five, and maybe R of four five. But I think that's all. Maybe R of four six, but we don't we don't uh, we we don't have exactly uh, value of other Ramsey numbers because it's very hard to kind of calculate. Um, so maybe I will give you an example about R three four. Because I don't think so. If, if we don't, I don't think we have much time to discuss. Maybe, uh, maybe it's not hard to see. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, just me. Let me explain like some final final uh, proposition here, and then we'll go to the example of R three four and look. Can we just calculate it or not? So the final. Um, just to give you to give you the idea what to do if you have like more colors. So again, we can just uh, consider not to coloring but key coloring of the graph. And this is also uh, also calling Ramsey numbers, but for we can uh, call call the previous number like Ramsey number two of two coloring, and this is Ramsey number of key coloring. And the idea is the same. Is this is the uh, is the minimal 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 number? Uh, maybe I, I should put it n, so we don't um, confused with these representations, such that for each K coloring of complete graph Kn, we have either uh, Kn1 subgraph of color 1, Kn2 subgraph of color two and so on k and k subgraph of color k so i did the same but instead of two colors we have many colors so we just like take the orange green and blue color and want to uh, so, for example, k of three, 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 
is the minimal possible number of n that if we uh, color the complete graph k n into the edges of uh, of edges. Uh, so we color the edges of, for example, if we want to prove this is 20, that for each coloring, three coloring of edges uh, of complete graph k 20, we have uh, monochromatic triangle, either orange, either green, or blue. So we have like 20 vertices, and then we color them like by orange. Some some edges are green, and some edges are blue. And we want to find a monochromatic triangle here, or here, or this one, or this one. Or And I just want to prove that uh, this is this number is finite. Theorem R of n one and k is finite, uh, and this uh, so I I just want to prove this inequality here. Um, I just want to prove that we can uh, consider the less number of the colors and prove this inequality. So if we prove this inequality, then from this we can um, prove that R of, R of N1, uh, et cetera, NK is finite. Uh, so if this is true, then we can use our usual Ramsey numbers and um, it's finite. So for, for two colors, it's true. And if we just prove easily by induction, so if for k colors, it's true, then we consider the Ramsey number of k plus one coloring. And then this equality uh, uh, proves that if for k coloring, yeah, uh, the Ramsey number is finite, then it is finite for the uh, k plus one colors. Um, so all we need to do is prove this inequality, and the idea is the same that I already told you, told you about. We just uh, fixed, so we, we consider k coloring of uh, kn where n is equal to the right hand size um, so we have just have here like more and more different colors then all I need to do, so we have like key, col key colors here, but all I need to do is just to uh, unite the k minus one and k color. So let's look for the minute. So let's denote it by <clears throat> them by the same color. So for example, we have like similar colors like. Uh, lighter green or darker green and um, we just look them as a green color then we have k minus one coloring here then we obtain k minus one coloring of k big m it means that uh, since this is the number of R of n minus one, a, n, k, k minus two, and this runs the numbers of uh, R of n 
k minus 1 and k, then uh, by definition of this guy, we have either k n minus 1 subgraph of first color, uh, k minus 2 subgraph of color 2, and so on, or k of r n minus k and k subgraph of uh, united color of k minus 1 and k colors. And so this is the same as in proof of the previous theory. So if we have, have k minus 1 subgraph of first color, then we have OK, because we just all we need to do is find uh, k n minus 1 subgraph of the, of the color 1. If we have this one, OK. And all of them, except for last one, is OK, because we all, this is all we need to do. We just we need to find either the k n 1 subgraph of the first color, k n 2 subgraph of the second color, and so on. And the uh, problem can be, can be arises only in the last case. But in the last case, we have subgraph of R of n minus k minus 1, k n, and k of two colors. So if we consider these vertices and look at what colors do we have here, so we have like green color and darker green color here. Then by the definition of R, R of n, k, n minus 1 and k, we have exactly either k n minus 1, a, k, n, k minus 1 subgraph of color k minus 1 or k n k subgraph of color k. And so this is also k, all we need, all we need to do. And so this is proof the inequality and the theory. Uh, do you have any questions? Uh, no, sir, because this uh, topic was quite a bit confusing, but I'll rewatch the video again, sir. Okay, so, uh, okay, maybe uh, I will give you last example and then we finished, okay? Because I want to okay, sir. do something with hands. Okay, uh, so let's like, try to find R of 3, 4, because we just find R of 3, 3, and then uh, maybe we can find R of 3, 4. Of of course, we can use our uh, main inequality. So R of 3, 4 is not greater than R of 2, 4, but plus R of 3, 3. And this is like 3 plus 6 is 10. So we know that R of 3, R of 3 4 is not greater than 10. So all I need maybe you can find so i can use less than one means so maybe you just can try to find a counter example for eight vertices and prove it for nine vertices okay so i just give you maybe five minutes and so we can discuss stuff through it so i just build a little break okay
So do you have any progress here? Uh, I'm progressing on the counter for eight, sir. Yeah. Can you just explain it? Oh, I mean, just maybe. Uh, so what? What? What is oh. it? Orange, or what's the green? I haven't found yet, so I said I'm, I'm still finding ah, it. Okay. But, okay, so what is the question? You we need to, so if you have like R of 3, 4, then we don't want to have orange triangles or green graphs equivalent to K4. Sir? Yes. So we need to just maybe, uh, if I wasn't, solving this question. I would just write in as many possible green uh, or maybe red or maybe orange, maybe orange, as many orange that I can have without triangles and then trying to find is there uh, four vertices that can be all green. So for example, I start with Maybe I will start with, so what if we like look uh, as a cycle, of course it's, it, not, it doesn't have a triangle. So what are, what are, the, what are possible K4 green subgraphs here? On this graph. Mm, maybe one possible K4 is if we have green edge from three to one and three to five and edge from one to seven. Yeah, of course. So if you, if you, if you want to build a um, green K4 subgraph, then you need to, um, so you can, you can have like, um, so this, this green, green edges must be go over the, uh, no less than two between uh, vertices. So it, it can be like one, two or three, four. So we have two only two possible variations like one three five seven or two four six eight because we can have them to be differ by one. Yes, sir. Uh, so we, all we need to do is just uh, uh, we, we we just need to take two more orange edges to restrict this possible variations of green K4 subgraph. Can we, can we just find, can we just take additional two orange edges that will uh, prevent to have the K4 subgraph, the K4 green subgraph. So for example, for this subgraph, we can like take uh like the edge three seven so if we if you put the edge between three and seven then we don't have a green green for subgraph one three five seven and also we need to put some edges to prevent uh the two four six eight subgraph to be green 
So maybe two six. Maybe two six. Okay. Okay. So if we put two six, of course we don't have a triangle, a Norris triangle here, but we don't have a K for subgraph. So we just take all other edges as green. And then we don't have a monochromatic K4 subgraph here. Okay. So we just built a contra example. Uh, yeah. But if we need to prove it for nine vertices, maybe you can try to, so you can try to, uh, to check it at home. So you can do it like by hand by hand, but I think I will prove it. Uh, so I, I just I just give you an idea and we will finish for today. So how to prove it? We want to prove that R of three four is not greater than nine. So we just need to cut one one vertex from this one. Uh, and if you see, if you look closely, then you see that. Uh, so we just build this here. In the, so this is like four and this is like six. So it means uh, that suppose we have nine vertices. We fix one vertex. Then it have exactly eight edges coming out. Uh, suppose we have two coloring of this graph. Uh, if if for if there exists a vertex for which we have four orange or six green uh, at least four orange oh maybe uh, yeah or exist I need to put the right number. Yes, for orange or at least two green edges, then we're done. By the proof of the theorem, if we have at least, so it, if, if we have four orange edges, then either all of them are green and we have green K4, or uh, we have at least one edge here and we have orange triangle and if we have six green vertices then uh, either so we have like we have six vertex, vertices here and so either we have a monochromatic orange triangle or monochromatic green triangle here and if we have orange triangle, then we have a orange triangle, that's what we need. And if we have green coloring, then we have green K4 here. So if, if, if there exists a vertex V that have at least four orange or at least six green edges, then we're done. This means that if it's not true, if it is not true, then each vertex has exactly, so this is sum of the edges is eight. So the unique possible situation is that exactly three orange and five green edges. Because we have total, totally eight edges and uh, exactly, so if it's more than three orange, it will be, so if it's strictly more than three, then it will be at least four. If it's strictly than five, then it will be at least six and three and five is exactly eight. So the, uh, the unique possible situation in which this didn't occur, the situation is the top before, is when we have exactly three orange and five green edges. And this holds for every vertex in our graph. So each vertex has exactly three edges, three orange and five green edges. But if there are 
if we look at our nine points, so each of them will have, uh, in which of them will be of degree three, but this can be holding because you know that the number of degrees uh, of odd degrees is even because the total number of edges will be, will be the total number of orange edges will be three times nine over two, which is not uh, non-natural number, not integer. And this is a contradiction. So actually we prove, so we just can generalize it and prove that if R of M minus one N and R of M N minus one are even, then we can prove a slightly more, a slightly uh, more accurate version of our theorem and prove like this inequality. And I just explained how you prove it. So the unique possible situation if this didn't occur is when we have for each vertex we have the degree is the orange degree is equal to three and we cannot have for each nine vertices have orange degree three because the total number of edges will be like three times nine over two and this is not injured. Okay, do we have an, at least an, uh, an idea how to do it for nine vertices? Yeah? We just did it, sir. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I think you can you can think about it at home and then ask. Ah, yes, sir. If this next Wendy, if you have any questions. Okay, uh, thank you for today. Sorry that I just, but I maybe take a little, a little more time than usual. So, uh, see, see, yeah. sir, next week is going to be our final test. Yes. On Tuesday or on Wednesday? On Wednesday at, at uh, one o'clock. One hour. Okay, sir. And do if if you if you need to uh, a consultation, you can ask me. But so maybe if you want to do it and to use the, you can just try to ask me in Telegram. I will try to find the time to talk with you. But uh, also we can just discuss it um, in uh, twelve thirty. But maybe it's do not enough time. I don't know. Because uh, you maybe want to ask about the homework about uh, Hamiltonian graphs. I don't know. But well, maybe we can make this a consultation in 1230. Okay. So how long would the test be? Uh, two hours from one to three. <laughs> well, sir, because uh, last time uh, I was hoping for more time. So I was thinking, can you maybe increase the time by like 15 minutes? So that would be short this time. Or something or, or are we going to do what we did last time where we'll get penalty if you submit after the deadline yeah but, but i'm i'm i i i mm, uh, i doubt that we have so much time because i need to uh gi give the grades i don't know not uh so i don't I, we don't have much time after the test to give you the final grades because i i, I think it it, it should be held like until Monday, the next Monday, like 21st or 22nd. And yeah, sir, you can just give us maybe one day, not um, um, X weeks like you did last time, maybe one day or something. One or two days, sir. Because I think Zachat week ends at 22nd and our exam is on 16th, so. Yeah, I think I, I, I just, I just uh, try to prove as fast as possible, but I, I think you'll have like some time to uh so so you can send me like uh yeah, I just, new versions of your answers but okay i don't think this problem but i uh, i'm sorry but so i uh i will have uh in the next wednesday i will have a next meeting like in half past three so we don't i i think we can uh finish at uh, 15 minutes, but I think uh, I, I can hold it for longer time because I need to prepare for the next um, ne next next, next test. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Goodbye, sir. Okay. Bye.